All right, lower loading, number five. Here we go. What you will need today, please have your shoes on just for an additional support for the cardio that we're gonna do. Remember, we start with 10 minutes of cardio and we end with 10 minutes of cardio. I would like you to be moving for the entire 10 minutes. Any accommodation is fine as long as you are moving. Every minute we change the move. So we have 10 moves that we're gonna be doing twice. Once at the beginning, once at the end. So save a little something something for the end. Okay, the other thing you will need today is one weight, just one, a big puppy, so we can load those legs, all right? In the loading series five, we have this challenging move that we come back to, and today that challenging move is gonna be the UFC. For the UFC, I want you to be kneeling, you come up, now, when you come up, you don't come up very high. So I don't want you to stand up. I want you to keep a bend in that knee. How low you stay is up to you. That's where you can make your accommodation. We will start right leg first. Then the second set, we'll do left leg first. All right. You might need a little cushion, a low table, a dining room chair, a handle to a mop if you need some assistance with that low movement. Okay, this is really different to what we normally do and which is why the UFC is so challenging. Normally with squats, we start at the top, we come down. UFC is we start at the bottom and we don't come up. Yeah, ouch, only five, only five, I promise you. All right, do me a favor, get that heart rate monitor started. Pick something like, you can do a mixed cardio, you can do a mixed training, you can do, oops. Oh, can you make sure you stay muted, please? Thank you. We're recording. I know, but we're recording. <laughs> so the whole internet just saw you. Hi, you're black screen, but okay. All right. Um, so what we'll need is you to pick something. Um, you can also pick a high intensity interval training. And let's start our warm up. Nice and easy. Just let's start taking those knees up into the chest. Beautiful. Here we go. That's it. Nice and steady. Oh, keep your balance. Don't fall over. And if you do, it's okay. Yeah, we want to embrace those wobbles. That helps us build our balance. Nice job. Last one. Now we're going to do the exact opposite. Foot to the butt. Grab with both your hands, please. That way you're kind of also stretching out the chest. Alternate. If you need to go a little faster or slower than me, that's fine here for the warm up. Good job. One more on each side. Beautiful job. All right, some hamstring, big circles and reach. Alternate, that's it, good. Try and go a little deeper, bigger reach. Ah, that's looking beautiful. Nice job, thank you. Oh, excellent. There we go. Nice, that's it. Let's step it back. Right leg, so we're gonna alternate. Big step back, big pull with the chest. Some dynamic stretches here. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. A couple more on each side. Beautiful job. One more on each side. That's it. Good, all right, just march it out for me, please. There we go. Nice steady march. Should have some heat on the body. One minute right here. So the knees are coming up in front of the body and you're pumping those arms. Excellent. About 30 more seconds. Nice and light on those feet. Starting to build some heat in the body, starting to breathe a little bit heavier. It's okay, we embrace that. So I want you to think about that today, about embracing when you feel a little bit, you know, breathless, a little outside the comfort zone. Embrace that. Okay, let's change the move. So instead of the knees coming up, I want you to 
Give me a little heel to butt. Now notice how I'm starting to move a little side to side. All right, and let's pull those arms. One minute here. Good job. And then we go back to the dynamic stretches and we are done the warm up. Beautiful. Awesome, awesome. 30 more seconds. Are you getting that heel to butt? Are you able to kick your own butt? Maybe. You know, keeps me connected. <laughs> That's it. Excellent job. 20 more seconds. Fabulous. In five, four, three, two, back to the knees, alternating into the chest. Find your balance. Lovely job. One more each side. Heel to butt. Grab with both arms, both hands. That's it. One more each side. All right, that big hamstring circle. There we go. Kind of using the entire body. Not too fast, not too slow. One more time. Big step back into that calf stretch and then open up that chest when you come to standing. Oh, that's it. Well done. Can you take a bigger step back? One more each side. Ooh, balance. And shake it out. Well done. Grab something to drink. One minute, kind of setting ourselves up. And then we head into our cardio. Get something to drink. Make sure your towel's nearby. Make sure the weight's in front of you and out of the way. That way you don't step on it, trip on it, fall on it. All right. So, I want to encourage you to add a few hops and jumps to the cardio. Those plyometric moves are very beneficial for the joints in the body, especially the joints waist down, hips, knees, ankles. All right. Okay, we have 20 seconds and we're going to begin. We have 10 minutes, every minute a new exercise, adding little hops where you can, make the accommodations. Okay, our first cardio is the crisscross squat in five, four, three, two, one. So we cross the legs and we do a nice squat. If you want to do two crosses, you can. Up to you. Here is a great time to add a little hop. Yeah, you can come up onto the toes. So make sure you're doing a nice deep squat here. Can speed it up or slow it down. Excellent. Fifteen more seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two. So here we go. Touch, big step, touch. Side to side, touch. The aim here now is to get that hand to touch the ground. Coming up and down. Want to move those hips up and down. Yeah, the first two minutes are intense.
Big side step. That's it. Keep going, come on. Steady does it. Five, four, three, stand tall, elbow to knee. That's it. Come on. Lift that elbow, lift that knee. Keep the hands behind the head. Good. Keep going. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, side to side. Hands up over the head. All right, add a hop for like five seconds. Good. Back to side to side without the hop. Add the hop. Now, if you can stay with that hop, go ahead. If you need to alternate, that's fine. Between hop and no hop. Give me a little something, even if it's one hop in the entire minute. Now I'll step it back. Both hands up. Give me a hop for five seconds. Then back to no hop. Five seconds. Back to no hop. If you can keep hopping, go ahead. The next minute is all about hopping. So adjust as you need. Are those hands reaching up over the head? Five, four, three, two, kick your butt. One, two, three, hold. Now the hold is all about driving that heel as close to the butt as you can. Now here's where you do a little hop. How much is up to you. Now watch how close I'm trying to get that heel to my butt when I'm holding. Come on. Pump those arms. All right, for the next one, I have to turn to the side. It's a side step knee in three, two, one. So big step, knee up. Now, if you can hop on that knee, that would be great. Drive that hand up over the head. So it's a little like skater into a knee. Come on. Remember, you can just come up onto the toe 
when you're doing that knee. Push yourself. The next minute is kind of like a working rest. Three, two, punch it out. Now notice my feet are not stuck to the ground. So I'm not doing this. And as fast as you can. Use those obliques. Twist that upper body. Hands at shoulder height. Want to make it harder? Punch above the shoulder. How are you feeling? All right, keep going. We've got like 20 more seconds here. The next minute is all about hopping. Teeny tiny, but still hopping. Five, four, three, low kicks. Now remember, we want to engage the tibialis, the muscle that runs from the front of the knee down into the front of the ankle. So we want to make sure we're flexing that foot at the bottom of that kick. It's a small kick, so it's fast. Pump the arms. Flex the foot. All right, guys, come on. We have a minute and a half left. We have already done eight and a half minutes. Come on. Keep going. At that hop. I know. I know. Makes it a little uncomfortable, doesn't it? Remember? So focused today. I want you to brace that little uncomfortable. In three, two, all right, three shuffles with the knee. Now on that knee, I want you to sit down on it. Notice how I'm moving my arms. Want to make it harder? Up to you. One, two, three, or you can do five or seven. Anything odd will work. Come on. Twenty-five seconds left. Make sure you warm up. If you just joined, fifteen seconds. Five, four, three. Two, 10 minutes, why drink? All right, stay standing for me, please. Woo. Remember, we're doing that at the end. So have a little reserve. That's your reserve tank. All right. We have four exercises we're gonna do. Actually, it's three. One of them we do twice, okay? In between, we do those UFCs. So if you need a cushion, I keep saying cushion, cushion's not a good idea. Blanket or towel, kind of rolled up. Yeah, as much support up as you need, but you need to be able to step in front of it. Organize that towel now. Put it somewhere in your mat where you still have space to stand in the front. Okay, if you need a dining room chair to help you, yeah, with balance, get it now. You can also use a stick. All right, guys, that minute has been up. It's going into a minute and a half. Let's go pick up your weight, please. All right, 
Remember on Monday we did these half holds? Yeah, same here. Okay, so I need you to stand in the middle. Legs narrow, so they're hip width apart, maybe even a little bit smaller. Toes pointing straight ahead. We're gonna come down and hold it here. Right leg out, back in, left. That's one. Two. Three. Four, keep that butt down. Five. Five more. Six. Come on. Seven. Keep that butt down. Bring it back to hip width. One more each side. Come back to center. Push it up. Good job. Get rid of the weight. Come down on your knees. No hands. I would tell you to put your hands on your hips, but you're going to need them to help you balance. Starting with the right leg, and then when we're going down, we also start with the right. So it's right, left, right, left. Three, two, one. One. Two. Three. Don't come up. Four. One more. Stay low. Good job. Push back onto your feet. Stand up. No hands. Grab your weight. Legs super wide. Extra turnout in the toes. Sumo squats. Three, two, one. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Come on. Three. Two. One more. One. Good job. Get rid of it. Down on the ground, no hands. This time left leg first. Five UFCs. Three, two, one. Left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. Left, right, left. Two more. Left, right, left. One more. Left, right, left. Push back onto the heels, no hands. Stand it up. My pants are twisting and the seam is just getting in the way. Pick up the weight. At the chest. Come on. That same down hold. This time we're alternating, stepping the legs back. Three, two, one. Right, left, one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, come on, eight, that's nine, one more each side, come back to center, push it up, UFCs. Left leg first. Down on your knees, new hands. Five of them. Three, two, one. Five. Four. Three. Left leg first. Two. One. Push back on your heels. Stand it up, no hands. Last exercise, grab the weight. Really wide. Toes turned out as much as you can. Sumo. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one, good. Down on your knees, no hands. Right leg first. UFCs, five of them, let's go. Come on, five, four, right, 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 right. Three, 
Stay low. Two. One more. Push it back, no hands, stand it up. Break. Now you know what a round entails. Why drink? Boy, everybody is gone. People just disappear. What? Guys, 40 more seconds. What accommodations do you need to make? Could you lift a heavier weight? Do you need to lighten the weight? How do you know you need to lighten the weight? One, you're getting a pain somewhere, particularly lower back when we're staying low. Two, you're starting to round the back. Yeah, you realize that you're not, you're not as lifted. Those are times. All right, guys, let's go. 10 seconds to begin, grab that weight, please. On the chest. Come on, three, legs hip width, toes pointing straight ahead. It's narrow. Three, two, one, come down, hold it. Alternating to the side, let's go. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, don't lift that butt, I know, five, four, three, Ooh. two, and one more each side, oh. come to center, push it up, oh. get rid of the weight. Down on the ground. Don't use your hands. UFCs. Three, two, right, left, right, left. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Watch how to get up with no hands. All right, pick up your heavy weight. Sumo squats. Wide, toe knock. Three, two, one. That's it, bring it together, get rid of the weight. Look how to get down on the ground, no hands. UFCs, left, right, three, two, one. Five of them, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, any option, come to you standing without any hands. Pick up the weight. Narrow. Alternating step back. Twist pointing straight ahead. Come down, hold it. Let's go right, left. each side. Oh. Good job. Let's go. Down the ground, no hands. UFCs. Right, left, right, left. Let's go. Five. 
four, three, two, one. Stand it up, no hands, any variation. Sumo, pick up the weight. Legs wide, toes turned out. Let's go. Two more. One more. Get rid of the weight. Come on guys, down on the ground, no hands. Left, right, left, right, your C's. Let's go. Two more. One more. Stand it up, no hands. One minute break. Oh, wipe drink. One more round, peeps. Well done. Do you need to take a little heavier? Now, you can take one weight in each hand, but because we're going to the side, sometimes that can make balancing a little bit more tricky. So the exercise becomes much harder with two weights. Okay, not only just because the weight is added, but also like balancing the body. So up to you if you wanna try that. Maybe instead of doing 10, you do eight, you go at your pace, that way you keep your balance. Here we go. Are you ready? Third and final round, pick up the weight please. Alternating side tap. Keep the butt low, chest, legs narrow. So hip width or narrow or toes pointing straight ahead to me. That means your middle toe is pointing to me. Three, two, down hold, alternating. Let's go right, left. Five more. Two more, one more, come back into center, push it up, UFCs, right, left, right, left, let's go, Stand it up. Some more squats. Three, two, one. UFCs, left, right, left, right. Let's go. Stand it up. Oh, okay, 
Yeah, let's go. Alternating step back. It's a variation of the lunge. Oh, this is it. Narrow, twist pony straight ahead. Down hold, let's go. Five more. One more. You have C's right, left, right, left. Three, two, one. right five come on three two one embrace the discomfort this is it stand it up break I think having music might be better than my breath. <laughs> ah. I just want to show you with these silent training days that, you know, we say things like, I need this to work out. I need a space to work out. I need a, I need this to work out. I need, I need, I need, I need. Those are all tools to distract yourself. I know some of them make sense. Absolutely. Still a tool of distraction. You don't need anything to work out. Look, look, look what I'm working out in. I mean, you see my desk. Yeah. It's my office space. Yeah, maybe a little, a little larger than what I need for an office space, but way smaller than what I would perceive that I need in a gym. All right. How do you get motivated to work out? It's showing up. It's doing the boring stuff that nobody wants to hear about. Nobody wants to hear that you worked out every day this week. Nobody wants to hear it, I promise you. It's not even an interesting story. Try it at work today. First person you say, hey, morning. I worked out every day this week. They'll be like, Tsh. yeah, Anne. Nobody wants to hear it. And we don't talk about it enough. But that's how you get motivated. Action leads to motivation. It's not the other way around. Yeah, if you've got kids, it's the same thing. How do they get motivated to do their homework? By doing it, even when they don't want to do it. I know, I know. And as parents, we want to come in and go, ah, you don't have to do it. And you can do that. They'll just be living with you forever. <laughs> Actually, no, by about 30, they'll get fed up and move out. <laughs> All right, guys, are you ready? The last 10 minutes. Okay. I'm waiting for a nice, decent time on my watch so that I don't miscount. <sighs> All right, white drink. Trust me, trust me. There are days I don't want to show up either. It's part of being human, part of it. And you make me show up. 
and I love it. I'm so, I'm so thankful because at the end of every workout, when I started it saying, God, I wish I could sleep in today, or God, I wish I could just uh, not do this today. When I'm done that workout, I think, I am so glad you showed up and you made me do it. All right, guys, here we go. Criss cross squat, blah, 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 blah. Criss cross squats, one minute, three, two, one, let's go. 10 minutes. Your hands, mid thighs, make sure they're not above the knee, okay? Now make sure you alternate which leg comes crisscross. And you can crisscross two times, four times, as many times as you'd like, yeah? But when you come up, do a little hop for me. That's where you get it in. All right, 20 more seconds in round one. I know, that felt longer than 40 seconds. I agree. Come on. You can slow it down. Five, four, three, side tap, let's go. Just one step actually, not more than one. Up and down. Get those fingertips to touch the ground. Oh, breathe. Embrace the discomfort. Slow it down if you need. It's okay. Twenty seconds left in round two. Three, two, elbow to knee. Just keeping track so I don't forget any exercises. Twist it up. Twenty seconds left in round three. Three, two, side. Catch your breath in this round. It's like a working recovery. Because the next round we're going to focus on hopping. Twenty seconds in round four. Come on. Three, two, step it back. Both hands up now. Now, as soon as you're comfortable with this, add that hop. One minute of hops right here. Come on, you can make them tiny. Come on.
20 more seconds here. Both hands up. Five, four, three, two, kick your butt. One, two, three, hold. All right, that's five minutes down, five minutes to go. We are halfway through. Give me a little side to side here. And when you hold, try and get that heel as close to the butt. Are you pumping the arms? Twenty more seconds of round six. Now we're going to continue with a side to side. Come on, but it's going to be one step with a knee. Three, two, let's go one step with the knee. So it's a side step. Can you drive that hand above the head? Can you add a little hop when you do the knee? The next round will be a working recovery, so push yourself here. Twenty more seconds. Five, four, three, punch it out. Rest here. Woo. Catch your breath. Yeah, when we do those legs, it takes it out of you, doesn't it? So loading five is all about like a hold in the strength. Remember we have one more day of it on Friday. Oh yeah. Punch it out. Catch your breath here. Ooh, what is it? Action leads to motivation. Come on. Come on, Suzanne. I know you're tired, Suzanne. I know. You can do it though. You are stronger than this. You're more able than this. All right, heading into the ninth minute in five, four, three, low kicks. You have to hop. I know, I know, I sneak them in there. Flex that foot, pump those up. Look at it from the side. So I'm kind of Staying on the ball of my foot, allowing me to bounce a little bit. All right. Scientists have suggested that's why we have a lot of padding at the ball of our foot, is to run and jump. Also on the heel, because sometimes if you're doing a really big jump, you have to push the heels down to the ground. It's also for walking, padding, so the shock doesn't go all the way up. The thickest skin in the body is the bottom of the foot. The thinnest skin in the body is the eyelid. All right, guys, we are heading into our last minute. Come on, you are made for this. You are made for hopping. You are made. All right, side three shuffles with a knee. Now, instead of pushing up when you do the knee, I want you to sit down. This is your 10th minute, 45 seconds to go. Come on. This is your 10th minute, 30 seconds to go. You got this. 
You can do this. This is your 10th minute. 15 seconds to go. Three, two, rest. We're done. Well done. Total, it's not total, it's lower body loading behind us. Good job. Wipe drink, please. All right. Tomorrow, better balance, baby. So it's all about balance and strength, balance and control. Yeah, using different parts of the brain. One of the most significant things you can do to improve your life, so not only longevity, but quality of life, sleep. Everybody needs around eight hours sleep. Some more, some a little less, but don't tell me you're getting five and that's perfect. All right, so prioritize your sleep. Look into things that can help you sleep naturally. You know, if it's something really chronic, see your doctor, yeah? No shame in the scientific game. I know that a lot of stuff on social media all talks about natural, 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 natural. By the way, medicines are natural. Natural means from Earth. And unless they're, I mean, NASA, you know what I'm saying? All right. So do the things to support yourself to get sleep. The second most important thing you can do for quality of life and longevity of life, exercise. Yes, getting uncomfortable with this homeostasis that your body is aiming for every single day. And you just did it. All right, let's do a side tap and let us get ready to cool down. So we are going to do very similar moves to our warm up, but instead of being dynamic, we are gonna do some static holds. Do you remember how we started? Knee into the chest, right? Let's go right knee into the chest. I want you to hold it there though, balance, hold it. Lift the chest. Pull the thigh in so it touches the abdominals. Good, roll the ankle. Other direction. Good job. Shake it out, side tap. In three, two, left knee into the chest. Hold it in. Lengthen the body, lift it, get the thigh to touch the abdominals, roll the ankle. Other direction. Excellent job. Shake it out. All right, down into that hamstring, right leg first. First square the body, square the hips, square those shoulders. Now reach down, grab the leg. As you bend the toes to you, push the chest forward. Give me a little drop in the belly button. Good. Like cow. Excellent. Shake it out. Same thing, left leg. Ooh, first squared off. I'm a little eager. Make sure those hips are square, shoulders are square. Feel it out so that you know you're not twisting. Now reach. And as you pull those toes to you, drop the belly button, lift the chin, lift the shoulders. Good. Shake it out. Cow stretch. So we're gonna go into a crescent. That means that back leg's gonna be straight first. Good. Push through that heel. Now bend that back knee, hip flexor, reach up and over. Side stretch for all those side movements we did. Turn the head, look, and switch it out. Step back, shake it out. Left leg, first crescent. Back leg stays straight, push through the heel. Deep bend in that front leg, as deep as you can manage. All right, here we go. Bend that knee, reach it up and over. Turn your head and look. Excellent job, shake it out, take those legs back. All right, quick stretch for the upper body. Just shake out those arms. Good job. Big circles around. And reverse. Whew. Excellent job. All right, feet together, big inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, let the fingertips graze the ground. Big inhale, look at the hands as they touch, exhale, bend the knees, fingertips, grace around, 
Lastly, inhale, look at your hands as they touch. Prayer arms to the heart of the Malo. Thank you so much for working out with me. Thank you so much for sticking it out here. Staying here till the end, I really appreciate it. I hope that felt good and I hope you're looking forward to Friday. Have a great day.